Okay, a 460 gram squirrel with a surface area of 0 0.1530 meters squared accidentally makes a fall from the tip of Empire State Building, which is 1,450 feet tall. Um, estimate its terminal velocity. Okay, so we're going to work on that one first. Okay, so terminal velocity, we need the force drag equation. Force drag equals one half C Q. A V squared. Now force drag, we know that's mass times acceleration because force drag is equal to the force of gravity. Why? Because it's terminal velocity. So if you're looking at a squirrel, there's a squirrel and it's fallen. Uh, he's at terminal velocity, so he's not accelerating. That means his force of gravity is going to be pulling down is going to be equal to this force drag pushing up. And so we know force of gravity is mass times acceleration. So we could go ahead and just replace this with mass times acceleration. One half. Now what is that C value? The C value is, um, well let's look it up. It says right here, use the drag coefficient for a horizontal skydiver. So well, let's, let's look at the horizontal skydiver right here so that's going to be one okay so that's going to be one and then Q, we're on Earth, so that's also going to be 1. Remember, Mars, I think, is 0.55, and Q is going to be 1. And that's the density of the fluid or the density of the air, density of the water, etc. And then A, uh, that's going to be the area, surface area, that's going to be already given to us at 0.1530. And then we get a V squared. So let's go ahead and sort this out right here. Um, the right side, well, let's, you know, left side too. So the mass is going to be 460 grams. So let's calculate that really quick. 460 grams, we want kilograms. So in order to make this kilo, we need to multiply by a thousand. But we don't want to change it, right? So we need to also divide by a thousand. And also remember that K represents a thousand so that's going to be 560 k over a thousand and now we're in grams a kilo so let's switch that around to kilograms 560 kilograms divided by a thousand and we know that's going to be moving this decimal place over three times so move it over one two three and we get point Oh, I messed this up, didn't I? It's a four. Got to watch out for me. Okay. So I got to switch all of these. And this is supposed to be a four. And we move that decimal place over three times. One, two, three. And we end up with 0.46 kilograms. And you could also just just kind of memorize it. Just say, in order to move from grams to kilograms, we just move it over the decimal place over three times. So that's just another way to do it too. So, uh, so the mass is 0.46 multiplied. Okay, so... I'm bringing the mass down. So that's 0.46 kilograms. Acceleration due to gravity is 10. We're on Earth. And then 1 half multiplied by 0 0.1530. Let's go ahead and do that. 0 0.1530 divided by 2. And we get... 
five v squared. All right, let's divide. Well, let's multiply this 0.46 by 10. We end up with 4.6 equals 0.0765 v squared. Divide both sides by 0.07. That's a 6, 6, 5. And 0.0765. So v squared is going to be 6 divided by 0 0.0765 and we get 60. Now 60.13. We could move these for a while, but there's there's no reason. Only three significant digits is necessary. So let's take the square root of both sides now. And watch out, I'm gonna make a mistake right now. So See if you can find it before I tell you. So then I get 7.75. And that should be in meters per second. All right, so I made the mistake. Did you see it? Yeah, it's a plus or minus, right? When we take the square root of both sides, we end up with a plus or minus, right? So uh, which is it? Is it the plus or is it the minus? It is the minus because we are going down. So 7.75. 75 meters per second downwards is our answer. Okay, so let's move on to the next one where it says, now a child while climbing a tree falls six meters to the ground. What will be the terminal velocity of the child assuming no drag contribution in such a short distance? So terminal velocity is when you hit maximum speed. So for a skydiver, it's around 180 miles per hour. Um, that's, the, that's, that's how quick you'll go if you jump out of an airplane. But right before you hit that parachute, you're going 180 miles per hour. So how fast would you be going if you jumped out of a six meter tree? Let's do that. In fact, let's... Let's change this to a uh, a four meter tree. Actually, I like that better. Yeah, four meter tree. Okay. So, jump out a four meter tree. How fast will you be going when you hit the ground? Well, we need to remember the kinematics equations. That's why we have these right here. here so which one do we need that was always the question that's always the question when we're doing kinematics equations so well let's let's figure it out so what do we have we jump out of a six uh, four meter tree what do we have we've got the top position which is gonna be x zero is gonna be six oh four meters four meters four meters and the bottom position x final is going to be zero meters all right so now let's do initial velocity well that's going to be zero meters per second because you start out going zero right right when you jump out of the tree you're going zero meters per second right that v final or just v it's the same thing that's going to be unknown Right, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. That's that's kind of what we're solving for, right? Okay, so now let's look for more of them. How about acceleration due to gravity? Yes, negative ten meters per second squared. Okay, what else do we have? How about time? Do we know time? No, I don't know this one either. But which one do we want to know? Do we want to know time? Do we want to know velocity? Yes, we absolutely want to know velocity, but we are not interested in time. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that out. So not that one. So when we look at the equations, we want that variable to be missing. We want the t to be missing. So let's go ahead and look here and find out which one is missing. 
right there. It's missing there. So we want this equation. Okay, so let's put the equation down. V squared equals VO squared plus 2A x minus x zero. All right, so V squared, that's what we're solving for. V zero squared, that's just zero squared, right? Plus 2A, two times A is gonna be two times negative 10 is gonna be negative 20, right? So this is two, this is negative 10, two times negative 10 is negative 20. Okay, so then x minus x zero, x is zero, minus x zero, minus four. And this is a really easy place to make a mistake too. A lot of times people will make these positive or switch these around, get the sign wrong here. All right, so let's go ahead. V squared equals negative 20 multiplied by negative 4. Well, let's get it put a 0 here. Plus negative 20 multiplied by negative 4. V squared is going to be 80. Take the square root of both sides. And what do we get? We get 8.9 v squared. Oh, no, v. V is going to be, well, I'll take the square root of both sides. And we can't forget it's going to be plus or minus. So we get 8.9 meters per second, plus or minus. So that means v is negative 8.9 meters per second. All right, so here's the question. Would you rather be a squirrel? jumping off the Empire State Building? Or would you rather be somebody jumping from a four meter tree? I would rather be the squirrel because I'd rather hit the ground at 7.75 meters per second than hit the ground at 8.9 meters per second. Oh, negative 8.9 meters per second. So this kind of explains why squirrels are so daring in the trees have you ever seen squirrels chase each other in the trees they chase each other and um, run around on the tree like like uh, their lives don't depend on it and that's exactly the case their lives don't depend on it it's as if we were in a four meter tree playing playing around or even even less so yeah there you go